All right, so let's talk about the prescriptions. Show me what a prescription looks like and explain how it's used. There are two types of prescriptions that I write. One of them is for compounded hormone. Compounded estradiol, compounded progesterone, compounded testosterone. Compounded means it's not FDA approved and you can't get it at your local drugstore. It's made by a specific special type of pharmacy that specializes in mixing, compounding the hormones to the specific doctor's order. I like those because I started using bioidentical hormones before there were a lot of them FDA approved. Now there's an abundance of FDA approved bioidentical hormones. So I really like using the creams and I only work with one lab because I think it's really important to limit the labs that you work with because you want to make sure that they're really high caliber and what the patient is getting is the right thing so that if a patient does well, you know why they're doing well. If they don't do well, you know why they're not doing well. So the ones that I work with that are compounded come in these pumps. And every pump is a unit dose. Let me show you. This is estradiol, which is my favorite estrogen. And what you do is the same thing. One pump, and of course it flies, so you have to be careful. You take one pump, you rub it in, and the, what I could do is control how much is in this pump. So in this dollop of cream, I can put more or less estradiol based on my prescription. The compounding pharmacist will do it and then send it to the patient. The good thing about compounding is that I can adjust the dose, but I think that adjusting it too much from the outside, meaning me changing the dose too much, also confuses the issue. I prefer to work with certain, you know, simple doses and then work with the patient at how many pumps a day they use. The other thing about it is that the cream it has a vehicle, we call it a vehicle, that absorbs into the skin directly into the bloodstream, so it's really easily absorbed and easily processed by the body. So I know that within three to six hours that person is getting uh, the level of estrogen that I'm kind of looking for. To maintain it is a different story, it's over time. The um, lab I work with uh, takes insurance, so it doesn't matter if they're getting it from the drugstore or they're getting it from the lab. So the cost should be of no consequence, really. Um, so I like working with these compounded hormones. There's sometimes people who really don't do as well or don't like the idea of the compounded hormones. They want FDA-approved prescriptions. So I work with gel forms. This is one of the gel forms that estradiol comes in. It's called estrogel. Uh, the unit dose, this is FDA approved. I write the prescription. They just have to make sure that the drugstore doesn't exchange it and give them something else. So you're dealing now with um, having to make sure that what I write is what you get, which is important because as you know, when you go to pharmacy, they start changing things on you. And sometimes those things don't work because they've changed them around. So you have to be more careful, kind of, in a way, compounding is better from that standpoint because they're not going to change much. The good thing about FDA approved is that they're standardized, they're always the same. You don't have to ever be concerned about if it doesn't work that maybe what's inside is different. So here you take it and here's the gel. Same thing as the other one, comes one pump, delivered, I'm going to overdose on estrogel today. So, what you do the same thing, you rub it in. Always use the same place in the body, and I make sure that the patients know exactly where to apply it. There are a lot of schools of thought about where to apply hormones. I adhere to the school of thought that says, put them in areas above the heart, put them in areas that have no fat, because when you have fat, the hormones stay in the fat, and they give you cellulite, and I don't know anybody who wants cellulite. I certainly don't. My patients don't. So what we do is we put inner wrists for the estrogen, a little bit higher for the progesterone, and we get to the testosterone, we go higher up, or if it's for vaginal dryness, we go around the vagina. Um, I also work with estriol, which is a mild estrogen in a tablet form that is inserted in the vagina. 
and moisturizes, help moisturize the vagina, stays there. Um, I think that these are basically the overview of what I work with, but depending on the patient and their reaction, I may change the tablets, I may change the formulations, so it's about the patient at the end of the day.